Uh, Pouty EQ. At Coke Carnage, lowering difficulty Hi. in bed? What a great life lesson. Thanks, failed marriage. Sorry, dude, whose line this is usually. BTW chat, did you know that with a Prime membership, you get a free Twitch sub? It True. even comes with a fun mini game where you have to try and figure out where they hid the button and how to use it. But it's totally worth it to support your favorite streamer. <laughs> thank you, Pouty EQ. I appreciate you, buddy. And thank you to everyone who does use your Prime subs here. We very, very much appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, Vinamichi says, is there a reason for the sponsored stream today? Is there new content? Yes. Not only is there new content, there's new content, new features, a huge new update, and it's 40% off right now. So basically, they, they developed the heck out of the game, dropped it in price, and now they're like, look, everybody, we're working our butts off. Look at all the progress. We lowered the price. Please go buy our game and wishlist it. And that's why we're here. Yep. So that's, I think the point of the sponsor stream is they're kind of showing people, especially those that watched or played it before, like there's a huge amount of progress they've made. So it, it's, it's, it's palpable. Yeah. If you're the sort to be skulking to people's favor with honeyed words and empty gestures, you and I are going to have problems. These folks around here have been through hell and back. They don't need no Joker playing hero. I'm just trying to be neighborly, bro. All right, I might be overacting, re overreacting a tad. I reckon you haven't done anything to warrant my judgment just yet. If you might forgive my crudeness, let's not discuss the matter any longer. I'll be around if you still need me. Okay. Well, I will leave that alone for now. Um, can we just like recruit everyone? Do we want to? I don't even know. Also, man, we have so much more stamina now since we ate. Jeez. I did not. I, I had forgotten this is basically like a Valheim skill system or a food system where we need to be eating. Uh, whoa. Oh, these are level twenty. A water bottle. Interesting. Huh. Okay. Hi. Was it you put an end to the incessant commotion upstairs? I suspected that we might be the only fine souls in this realm, but your appearance is a most welcome surprise indeed. Who might you be besides the savior of our little band? I was a rather accomplished scholar before all this. Quite refreshing to meet such an open book, surely filled with tales worth telling. There are a great many new faces in the realms as of late, with a great many stories to tell. Collecting such stories is my trade, you see. Columnist for Nightingale's finest paper, The Sunday Courier. If you're in need of any more material services, nourishment, equipment, protection, I'm certain my companions can provide. However, we always have time for a new customer. Uh, shoe Bill! With Twitch Prime, free Prime sub? Would have never known if it wasn't for my failed marriage. <laughs> what I Thank you. And then Greenlink. <laughs> you're my biggest inspiration. Why, thank you, Greenlink, with a T4. I have T1 four months. Thank you, dude. That's very nice of you to say. I appreciate it. Uh, have you heard any rumors lately? Always. Something particular you're looking for. Do you know of anyone who could lead me to Nightingale? Perhaps. It seems there are a great many of your fellow Realmwalkers about uh, diving from their Nightingale headquarters to realms as near as Sylvan's Cradle. I met one Aurelio Acevedo Ortega. As I pass through, and for a man of his years to survive this profession, he must have some level of skill or luck. Of course, I've no doubt the man was mad. Gold sickness. It had he and his traveling companions so enraptured they dismissed my politest inquiries outright. Oh. So wait, this guy pop. Why did you pop up, bro? Hi. Your tenacity overrules the gusts of fate, and this fay you have pleased. With shelter overhead and tool in hand, you've proven yourself ready. Now attend me. Built over the heart of this realm lies a site of power. Long ago, it was named and sealed by your kind. But longer still, it housed the knowledge of the Empyrean Network. What awaits is no simple task. A monument of such magic attracts the weak like flies to sweetest honey. And the realm's heart has ways of making lambs into lions. Take these elixirs, seek the sight of power, and overcome whatever guardians await within. Then thou shalt obtain the final key to lands unknown. 
Hmm. Cool. So this is interesting. What we're currently, like this is the main quest. Oh, we can track all of it. Oh, I thought we could only track some of it. Oh, hell yeah, even better. Okay. Very cool. So we can track the main quest and the side quest at the same time. We got what we're doing here. Uh, let's head back. Actually, let's recruit Mary. Hi, Mary. There's something about you. Oh, you can only have one survivor at a time. Interesting. Is Ko frozen or do you need to restart? I am completely frozen right now. You can't see or hear me. Yeah. Oh, we can make explosive marbles. Oh, man. Heck yeah. Making a bunch of these. Mm -mm. Do, do, do. Oh. Mm, let's see. Okay. So now when we pop this guy out, there we go. Now we have explosive bullets. Okay. Wait, did we not get our corpse? We got everything. Hmm. Our main quest is not marked. Wow. That's okay. Oh. Mm-mm. One second. Can you play? Is there an offline and online mode? Yes. Oh, very cool. Okay, thank you. All right, so it looks like we have a corpse right here. Um, maybe bugs. I think I already got that. Okay. So let's move. I think at this point we're just exploring a little bit. We've got some. We've got all sorts of icons on the map. Let's go up here and do this stuff. Pop. This is going to work, Chad. I'm going to make this work. Oh, so fast. What is that? Oh. Okay. Okay, we got a puzzle up here on our left. Dang, look at all this. How to play Bastille of Intellect. I Was I supposed to press something? Because I didn't see anything. Okay, I don't think I did that right. We activate that and it turns red. 
Is red bad? I think red is bad. Okay. So I think maybe we have to do them in like an order? I mean, we could use these to just keep spawning enemies and farming them. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm kind of super okay with this. I also like the idea that we could like completely kit this person out with gear and make him super good. Um, let's go up to the top. It, oh. Okay, okay. So it, it's definitely an order thing. That one first. That one second. That one third? Seems like it. Okay. So we gotta get up there first. Oh, there is a ledge pull mechanic. Sort of? Oh, do you have to hit space twice? Oh, that's weird. You have to hit space twice. That was awesome. Okay, awesome. Fantastic. Did it mark on our map? Completed. Awesome. <laughs> Lovely. A lot more stuff there. Some good food and things as well. Boop. <laughs> Boop. Here for days. Cool. Oh. You just have to do it one time? Oh, no, it's, is it twice? It's twice. Oh, dude, he's harvesting for me. At least he was. Weird. Dang, meat's bigger than the deer. good feels pretty good wonder how throwing knives are how much damage do they do 40 and 2x critical damage what is a lot more though oh you never run out of throwing knives wait how do you throw them oh wait, you have to hit F yeah, you never run out of them. They lose durability, but that's kind of cool. Okay.
Yep. Good? Nope. Cool. Okay. Oh, pretty good. Definitely need to get that torch. Winfred is the main character? Confirmed. Actually confirmed. Oh. Will he use it? I don't know if he'll actually use it. Oh. Okay. Dude, if this guy's going to start shooting explosive bolts at people, this is going to be awesome. <laughs> Explosive marbles. Great. A lot of good essence there. <sighs> right. Any higher? Nope. Jerk. Oh, my food is going out. Um, do you, you, and yeah. See, when we mouse over this stuff, there's no question it should be telling us the stats and like how much food it's going to give back and and what the bonus is. Like, yeah, it needs it needs to show all that in this menu. Um, okay. You? There we go. Okay, cool. Got some quartz. Don't know what that's for yet, but it seems to be pretty rare. So we'll keep picking it up. Hold up. Oh, yeah. That's some good rain sound right there. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. I'm a big rain guy, chat. Big rain guy. Whenever rain kicks on in a game, one of the first things I want to do is put on my headphones. Uh, another thing I do is make it so on the map, uh, an icon appears on completed stuff, like a little green check mark. <whistles> completed. <whistles> little check mark. Uh, okay, let's go up there. Uh, this game looks good. Dude, this game has undergone a renaissance since I played it last, and that even wasn't that long ago. I can safely say that playing this game again has made me far more excited than I already was. I was already pretty excited for this game. But when we played it last, it still needed like a bunch of, of a bunch more. And in the time between then and now, revisiting it, there is a lot more. <laughs> so... It, uh, it bodes very well for the future of this. We will definitely be closely paying attention to this and doing a big 1.0 when it comes out. No question. No! No! That's right. Dude! 
dude! Ah, it's awesome! I love it. Completed? Completed. That NPC has better aim than Ko? Confirmed. Confirmed. Throwing knives feel nice in this game? I love the idea of throwing knives, but for some reason, if you left click, it punches and doesn't throw. No, 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 no. Left click needs to be throw. You have to hit F to throw right now, which is weird and feels bad. But if they make throw left click, it'll be great. Yeah. And I love the idea of throwing knives. The fact that you don't have ammo, you don't have to, like, micromanage the amount of them, that's cool. I, don't, I might actually use them in this game. <laughs> okay. Oh, we gotta eat, like, one roasted berry to progress that quest. Hold on. I think we have a roasted berry, don't we? Why is it that I see... Oh, there it is. Oh, that's why. Wait, what? Oh, it's not on. There we go. Whoops. It d turns out it helps turning a campfire on before trying to roast with it. Weird. Um, strange, I know. Where are those roasted berries I just made? Hmm. Did they go bad? Oh, there they are. That's weird. Why do they not? Oh. Okay, I see. I see. Okay. Great. Oh, was that it? Was that all the quests? I think it was. Darn it. Oh, there's a torch. Let's make that. Reaches. Simple shirt. Where's the shirt? Oh. Um. Wait, how can I... I can't fast move stuff over here? That's weird. It was not letting me do what I wanted to do. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, uh, girl. Excuse me. Put some pants on, please. God. There we go. Oh, got the torch. Much better. All right, where is this place of power? Bunker entrance, a treasured item. Oh, wait, did we not get this treasured item? Oh, hold up. <clears throat> Whoop. Weird. Oh, hi, VIP. What's up, buddy? There we go. How much is the game? Um, the game right now actually is 40% off because uh, they have a big sale going on with the big new patch. So there's a link in the Nightingale, Nightingale command uh, and pinned to the top of chat if you want more info on the project.
I think we already got this, but I'm just going to make absolutely sure. It doesn't say completed or anything. I think this was the little uh, camp that had the either the pick or the axe at it. But let's go double check. What is Nightingale? It is a single or multiplayer survival game um, that is in this very unique magical universe about uh, an alternate world that has basically been overtaken by this, this energy. And now humans are kind of like going through these different realms, trying to figure out a way to stop it. So it's, it's a survival game that's based in like a lot of different fantasy worlds, which is really cool. So they, they have a lot of freedom in terms of where they can go with it. Oh, in terms of what they can do with it. Dude, I totally missed this. Wow, look at that. Just gotta chop through the balls, chat. The two giant balls. There we go, perfect. Oh, there was a torch in here too. Whoa. Wait, a feast card? Hold up. Hold up. I think we can play that back here. That's a hell of an axe. Oh, that's a mining pick. That's my axe. It's got a spell on it. Sorry, Winford. Worth it. Play this card to prolong the effect of meals, grow hungry more slowly, and heal more quickly. Environment. The season is spring. Did y'all notice the trees changed? So playing that card just changed the season of the map. So now things are different. The FOV is fishbowly. That's because I made it fishbowly. Yeah, it's got a full FOV slider. There you go. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, first of all, chat. This has been Nightingale. I didn't. That was that was one of the fastest two hours I've done in a while. <laughs> <laughs> this is Nightingale. This game is an early access survival game. It is single or multiplayer. It is, at this point, pretty freaking awesome. But most importantly, it is making a huge amount of progress. So if you are interested at all at playing this game in 1.0, make sure to click that link in chat. And most importantly, it is 40% off right now. Um, now, I have no idea what the path of this game is, but most games get more expensive when they get 1.0. And right now it's 40% off of early access. So take that for what you will. <laughs> if you are planning on buying this game, maybe a good time to check it out. Um, Cause yeah, game is making a lot of progress and uh, it's looking pretty great. So anyway, big thank you to Inflection Games for sponsoring the last two hours of the stream. We will absolutely be checking this out at 1.0 or if there's any more major patches like this before release, which I'm guessing there will be, we may dive in and take a look at those too. Cause yeah, the, we are, there's no question at this point I can say we're doing a big 1.0 run of this game. Um, I want to see where it goes. I, there's enough quality stuff in here that I am I am interested. So, yeah, it's going to be fun. And thanks again to Inflection for that. Awesome.